Muhammad Ali once said, float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. Contrary to what many might think, the sport is more like dancing than it is heavy weightlifting. A local gym right here in the Brazos Valley is participating in First Friday with an open house, and the owner wants community members to know some of the benefits of boxing. KRHD's Rachel Witter was there to find more. Carl Perry is the owner and head coach of Bryan College Station Boxing. He has been actively involved with the sport since 1989. He says the sport helps boxers stay on their toes, move around the ring a lot lighter, and is definitely a full body workout. Perry also says it mentally helps to release stress and find a way to control potential anger issues. According to him, initially, people think they are made of glass and are intimidated. But with proper training, they become much more self-assured. With that toughness comes a lot of mental toughness, a lot of physical toughness. And so they, they just learned that they're a little bit tougher than they thought they were when they came in. It's a good outlet for them because they can actually come in here and take the frustrations, the anger, or the compulsiveness that they may have. He says boxing cleans and clears the mind. One of the first things he teaches people is how self-defense goes hand in hand with boxing. Although Bryan College Station Boxing has been at its current location for a while, Perry says the open house will give the public the opportunity to check out the atmosphere of the gym and see if it's the right fit for them. So this first Friday what we're doing is we're going to take some of the young kids, um, some of the young females, some of the young males that we have been training with us for a few months and just let them spar and show what they can do in there. I'd just like to um, really invite everybody to come out and just see what we got going on. Despite your skill set level, Perry says it's a great alternative anaerobic and aerobic workout. Reporting in Bryan, Rachel Witter, KRHD News.